Hey everyone, welcome to Orb Creations, the show where I build an app, you get to see how I do it, and you get the source code in the description. Today we're building a tax app. This app will by no means be a comprehensive tax calculator. All I really want it to do is calculate how much tax a certain income level would pay in each bracket and show it in a graph. For actual help with taxes, you should really talk to your accountant. To get started with this tax app, we're going to clone the template React repository from the Orb Cloud's GitHub account. Link is in the description. We use this repo to get started quickly on all of our React apps. Like I mentioned in a previous video, when I'm building quick apps like this, I usually like to pretend I'm traversing the component tree. Starting at the root with the app component, I just want to create a nice layout for the content. So let's add a header which renders an input component for income entry and a calculations component to show the graphs and the taxes at each income bracket. I think hooks are cleaner in a separate file, so let's go define the input props. We'll import the useState hook and the useCallback hook for the state and the handler, respectively. The income will be initialized to an empty string, and we'll use the handler to set the income to the typed value each time the user enters a value. The income then gets passed into the calculations component. The calculations component only accepts a number, so if the value is an empty string or a non-number value, we want to zero it out before passing it. The input component is rather straightforward. We'll define a couple default props and then accept the incoming value prop and onChange handler. The calculations component takes an income prop and calculates the taxes payable on that income in the calculate taxes helper function. For this app, I hard coded in the 2021 US federal tax brackets, but the setup is flexible enough to eventually allow for multiple tax brackets and configurations if needed. The helper takes this tax definition as an input, which specifies the rate and the cap, which is the maximum income for that bracket, and returns a new array with an additional tax attribute, which specifies how much tax was paid at that bracket given the income. We keep track of the income left to be taxed and loop through the tax array. If there is no remaining income, we stop charging tax, clearly. Otherwise, we'll calculate a tax for that bracket on the lesser of the maximum income for that bracket and the remaining income. In other words, if you don't have enough income left to fill that tax bracket up completely, we'll just use whatever income you do have for that bracket. All of this gets us to the final calculated tax interface. The calculations component maps over the calculated tax array and passes the calculated tax details into the bucket component. The format rate component takes the tax rate float value and returns a formatted percent string. The panel, label, and content components are just styling wrappers and aren't very interesting, so we'll check out the bar graph component instead. Bar graph is another dumb component that displays a bar graph by mapping its values prop into bar components. The two main functions that bar graph performs are creating a container for the whole graph and calculating the index value for the bar to use. Let's take a look at how that works. We are calculating and memoizing a value max, which is just the maximum value of all the values in the prop received by bar graph. This is important for calculating the height of the bars that appear in the graph. We want to memoize it because we'll have several of these bars on the screen and the maximum value won't really change, whereas the rest of the values might change as the user enters a different income into the input. 
All we want to do is track the largest value, loop through the array to check if each value is larger, and reset the max value when we find a larger one. Of course, we'll return the max value at the end. The bar component is yet another dumb component that displays a bar for the bar graph with a data label. We'll calculate the container height as the index we passed in times 100%. And there you have it, a tax app. The app is currently hosted on Orb at taxes.orbapps.com, linked in the description. All of the code that goes into this app is linked in the description. Be sure to check out these other videos on your screen right now. YouTube doesn't tell me ahead of time what they are, but I'm sure they're great. If you want to stay up to date on new apps we're building and coding tips and tricks, be sure to ream that subscribe button and follow us everywhere else. Until next time, remember, if there was a caffeine tax, it would be called a coffee.